First, let's brainstorm. Generally, the rate of electrochemical reaction is limited by various chemical and physical factors. Thus, the reaction is said to be retarded or polarized by these environmental factors. Polarization or overpotential can be described as the potential change from the equilibrium half-cell electrode potential, which is due to the current flow. Polarization can be classified into three types. First, activation polarization. This polarization is controlled by the reaction sequence at metal electrolyte interface, by looking on the slowest rate of electrode reaction. Next, concentration polarization is controlled by diffusion in electrolyte. Besides, this type of polarization generally predominates in the dilute acid and aerated salts solutions. For oic polarization, it is caused by the voltage drops due to charge transport. For cathodic polarization, ions are slow to move into the electrical double layer. Electrons flow into the surface faster than they can be consumed. The concentration of electron again increased at the metal side of int. So, electrons becomes more negative due to concentration polarization. Then, for activation polarization, electrons supplied to the metal faster than they can react. Concentration of electrons increased at the metal side of interface. Electrons becomes more negative due to activation polarization. For anodic polarization, it is believed that the reaction will be sluggish. The electrons leaving the surface are thus quicker than the Fe atoms leaving the matrix. The concentration of electrons will be reduced on the metal side of the interface. The concentration of electrons will be reduced on the metal side of the interface. As a result of the activation polarization, the electron will become more positive. Anodic polarization, concentration, it is believed that the products will gradually disperse away from the interface. The surface will become more positively charged here as well. Because of the concentration polarization, the electron will become more positive. In this polarization curve, the anodic slope is above the corrosion potential, and the cathodic slope is below it. The corrosion rate is calculated using the Stern-Geary equation. The higher the RP value, the greater the corrosion resistance. For example, when corrosion of zinc is immersed in acid solutions, hydrogen and zinc are activated along their respective lines after immersion. The oxidation and reduction rates must be the same, because they are only possible at the intersection of the two line segments. The corrosion potential and corrosion current will meet at this point. The corrosion rate is obtained by the intersection between total reduction rate and total oxidation rate.